welcome the rule number 2 is that you should read um, to write well you should have read good writing however sometimes it is very difficult to identify good reading material in your area of interest or it is possible that you are trying to explore a new area you might be trying to write a seminar report on a topic that you have chosen and you are new to the topic and then you want to identify good reading material in that particular area or you might be doing literature survey for your master's thesis or probably for your PhD thesis. Uh, in, in all these cases a priori you do not know what is the good reading material, you do not know what papers are important in that area and then you need to identify the good reading material and then you have to read them. Now, it is very difficult to identify good reading material, but there are a couple of tricks that I use. One of them is known as the backtracking method. In this method, you identify one paper in that area, whatever paper, it is it is not important that it is a good paper or, or it is an important paper, any paper in that area would do. Once you identify the paper, you go through the references in that paper, then you identify all those papers and you collect all of them and you go through the references in those papers and so on. So, so this is backtracking because the references that you would see in a paper would be the papers which were published or books and monographs which were published earlier. So, you can keep doing this and pretty soon you will see that if first paper had some 7 references and all those 7 references you collected and each one of those on the average had about some 6 or 7 papers then you have about uh, 50, 60 papers available in the first step of backtracking. And you, if you do two more steps, probably you will end up uh, identifying a you know, large amount of material, maybe about 150 or 200 papers. So, this immediately tells you about the available reading material in that area. Now, you want to identify what is good reading material in that, for example, in those 200 papers, which are the 5 papers that you have to read. That is also very easy when you are doing the backtracking, you will see that some papers are referred to by everybody in the area or almost by everybody in the area. For example, you will find that 5 or 6 papers out of this 200 papers that you have collected is referred to by pretty much everybody who has written the papers in that area. Then that tells you that these are the important papers in that area, these are the things that people expect somebody to know in that particular area. So, you can then concentrate on reading them first and after you get some familiarity with the material that is available in those papers, then you will be able to browse through the remaining ones and identify which papers are of interest to you. Of course, uh, it is also possible these days to track papers into the future. Uh, for example, if you go to uh, Science Direct or some such uh, sites, uh, when you try to download a paper, they also tell you papers uh, which are published, which refer to this particular paper and they also give some recommended articles uh, which might be of interest to people who read this particular paper. So, nowadays it is possible uh, to go both uh, forward and uh, backward and identify reading material. So, once you have identified the, the reading material, you can use them for your daily reading, but it is not enough to just read, uh, you should pay attention to these reading material, you should identify why uh, some read material that you are reading is good, how is it good or what makes it good. Uh, so, there are two ways of reading, one is reading to get information. But when you are reading as a technical writer, you are not just trying to get information, but you are also trying to see how the information itself is communicated. So, you are reading at a slightly higher level. So, that is very, very important. So, you should keep this in mind and you should read very carefully, not just for information, but for the way the information is communicated in that particular uh, document and you should do this careful reading every day. Thank you.